Is it Netflix? No! Is it HBO? No! Is it Disney? No! Is it Apple TV? No! Then it must be... Tell them they're streaming. Welcome to Tell Them They're Streaming. Hey, my name is Robert, and sitting beside me is a strained comedian who pitched an idea about a show where termites get married called Married at First Might. This is Richie. I've got that itchy feeling. Good acre. Hey, Richie, how are you? You spent a lot of, uh, 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 I reckon you wrote that and you're proud of yourself. You're like, yeah, okay, I'm going to take the rest of the day off. I uh, I was a little bit unproud in the sense because, like, it's termites. So mites already in the name of termites. I, I guess so. I guess, not, you know, you should, you should take a win. I gave you a compliment. <laughs> take your win. Yeah, yeah you know. Anyway, <laughs> anyway uh, you know, going good. I, I, yeah, I'm not even doing much. I, uh, I, I, spent, I, I spent a lot of the... Uh, time recently just uh like watching like tr- like you know watching a lot of like tr- true crime like youtube videos but like i watch like i'm interested in that anyway but like i i'm like falling asleep to it which is weird it's, it's, i think like, it's a weird thing to fall asleep to you know what i mean like that's you know like babies will like you know fall asleep to like bedtime stories or like you know twinkle twink, twink, twink a little star and i fall asleep to the body was located in in, in <laughs> located in the in 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 the riverbanks, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that's, just, that's my bird song right there. Does it give you bad dreams? No, then then I, then, I, then I have really delightful dreams. So maybe if I want nightmares, I should like just watch like My Little Pony or something. <laughs> take the opposite of bed. <laughs> when are they going to do a, a, a video nasty of My Little Pony, or have they already? Oh man, I I feel like if, if they haven't, I feel like it's in the pipeline. <laughs> With all these other ones coming out, and uh, yeah, 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 like uh, yeah, I, I, I it, ha- it has it has to happen, you know. My yeah, uh, uh yeah, like yeah, it, it, it you know, it, it's definitely it's definitely coming now. After what, well, there's a Peter Pan one coming out. There's a Bambi one. There's a um. I'm sure there's, I'm sure, I'm sure there's others. If it, if it's in the, maybe once I don't know, it might be a while before uh, My Little Pony gets into the public domain. But like, uh, look, maybe they'll make it. Maybe they can make a deal with the creators of, of My Little Pony to turn it into. You know, there's enough adults who like My Little Pony anyway. Well, there's so. bronies. There's bronies, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, are we currently doing how's your week been, or I need to ask that yet? I've, I've got myself confused. I mean, I mean, like I, I've just kind of switched it up and just talked about the stuff. But you can, I mean, you can you feel free to ask about what, what you want, really. All righty. Uh, what's your favorite piece of uh, processed meat? Oh. <laughs> oh. Um. Next question. No, um. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a huge fan of uh Everybody wants to know. Well, you know what? You go first. <laughs> I I love a salami. Salami like sal- is it for me. Salami, uh, salami's right. Yeah. I know it's not the best thing for you, but if every now and then I spoil myself, I'll get a pack of salami, or even even better, one of those long bits of salami that you've got to wrap unwrap the thing and chop it up. Uh, yeah, yeah. Where when I was young, I didn't realize you had to take the thing off, so I was eating paper while I was eating the salami. But yeah, how, how long did it take you to realize that you can't, you shouldn't uh, eat the paper? Uh, until I was an adult. Um, <laughs> you, just, you just you look down the the toilet bowl and you get your paper and your shit, and you're just like, no, that's normal. <laughs> paper mache. <laughs> it was like paper mache. I made a little house. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm, I'm gonna be boring. Just say, just you know, just good old fashioned ham. You know, ham. Yeah, no, really. ham's good. Ham's great. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, how how has your week been? Just quickly. 
Oh yeah, again, not too, not too bad, man. Just, just, just chilling, just uh, you know, um, uh, familiarizing my new surroundings. You know, uh, there's a, uh, I'd certainly, you know, found out there's a, you know, a, a bakery around the place, which is good for us because I always, uh, you know, when I come over, I always bring the bakery good. So there's a new, <laughs> new bakery, so there'll be uh yeah, new, new pies to try out. Uh, yeah, you want to yeah. you want to come in a bit closer, Richie? Just because I can't see your eyes, and it's really weird. Oh yeah, okay. There there's you go. Like, I can see yeah, your so, eyes yeah. now. I don't so feel like you know new new pies to try. You know, like you know, so there's new you know, sussed out new bakery. There's new pies to try out. Um, yeah, uh, and um, yeah, uh, like the, 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 there is a hairdresser there, so I will be making an appointment soon. Because yeah, I was, um, was going to say you obviously haven't been yet. Well, look at this, um, look at this mess. The uh, serial serial killer haircut, I call it. I I I, I, feel, I feel like this might be a group project. Uh, I like so... remember Spicks and Specs, which I don't know if it was out of Australia, but it was a bit like Never Mind. Uh, the buzzcocks. Never mind the buzzcocks if you're from England. Um, yeah, and they used to have this segment which was musician or serial killer. Uh, you've got that vibe going for you at the moment, Richie. Musician yeah. or serial killer. You could be a musician, but you could also be a serial killer. So, yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Sometimes not mutually exclusive. You can be both. You can be both. And I'm pretty sure there has been somewhere along the line. Well, yeah, what I about mean, Charles Manson? Charles, Charles Manson wrote songs for uh, Beach the Beach Boys. Boys so, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we're, I think we're having too much fun. I think we've got to, we've got to get into the film. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, this week's film is Atlantic Rim from 2013. The synopsis from Tubi is the U.S. government must depend on several soldiers and their uh, artillery in uh, artificially in sorry artificially intelligent robots to save the planet from deep sea monsters. IMDb has when giant monsters crawl out of the Atlantic Ocean and attack the eastern seaboard, the US government is forced to thrust a trio of mischievous soldiers specialised in piloting gigantic robots to, to defend America. Bit of trivia wise, uh, the film was originally planned to be shot at a naval air station uh, in Pensacola, 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 Florida. Yeah, yeah, in Florida. That's where, when that's where Roman Reigns is from. There you go. There's your wrestling fact for the day. Oh, thank you. Uh, and the base denied permission to film there after a high-ranking official read the script and disagreed with the portrayal of the soldiers. <laughs> I don't know. I found one. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, uh, it's, it's surprising that an asylum film wouldn't would wouldn't would, would be poorly written. <laughs> Mystery Science Theater three thousand uh, from twenty seventeen featured this movie in its second season on November twenty second, twenty eighteen. Yeah, I, I did hear this, and I'm like, it, it seems like a pretty well known movie to like be featured on that show. Mm. So I'm like, I wouldn't mind going back to watch that. It's on Netflix. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, I'll have to check that out. I, I think that's something that I would enjoy. Yeah. Uh, this mockbuster film was released on July 9th, 2013, to capitalize on Pacific Rim from 2013, which was released in the US on July 12th, 2013. So uh, Pacific, uh, Pacific Rim uh, was released on July 12th, where Atlantic Rim was released on July 9th. So they got in before Pacific Rim was actually officially released. I, 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 I'll say what I said off here, yeah. but like basically Asylum tried to capitalize, tried, tried to, how they don't get down for copyright, I don't know. Um, but I guess they, you know, they, they, they screwed it somehow. Um, but like, I think, you know, they take advantage of the, like, you know, maybe, you know, uh, grandparents trying to buy things like dvds for their grand their their their, their grandchildren you know who, who don't really know any better that better like oh do you want uh you know you oh you want um you know you want pacific room oh here here here's atlantic here's, here's pacific room and you're like oh no grandma that's a, that's atlantic room oh you, 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 
Philly. You want uh, oh, 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 cocaine, oh, cocaine bear came out on Blu-ray. Oh, oh no, this is Meth Gator, which is a thing. That is a thing <laughs> yes. that's happening. Uh, uh, they've already made a, a movie called Meth Gator. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah. Uh, Atlantic Rim is also known as Attack from Beneath, Attack from the Atlantic Rim, and From the Sea. Isn't that um, a Eskimo Joe song? A, a who song? Eskimo Joe from the sea. Oh, I think so. From the sea. Hello, hello. Mm-hmm. Oh, there goes yeah. the copyright for this week. Uh, uh, I, I, it was only five seconds. Anyway, yeah. Eskimo Joe's an Australian band. There you go. Yeah, check them out. Um, this, there is a sequel of this film. It's called Atlantic Rim Reassertion from 2018. <laughs> it's good, probably to, to coincide with Pacific Rim Uprising from 2018. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a couple of quick looks at uh, different thoughts of the film. Dave Pace from Fangora gave it two out of four. A testament to why there aren't many live action giant robot versus monster movies. It's very difficult to thing to do right and to keep the audience on your side. Atlantic Rim manages to be enjoyable as a bit of a goof and works on the so bad it's good level. Uh. <laughs> Dread Central gave it three out of five. Jesus Christ. Well, did these people watch the same movie we did? Oh, apparently, yes. The ultimate monster movie about booze hounding broskies in a battle bots saving New York City from crazy-eyed giant sea beasts that frequently appear to be merely a lost animal, confused and irritated that these metal men won't stop hitting it. Metal men? Or woman. (laughs) (laughs) The director is Jared Cohen. Um, He also did a film called A Stalker in the House from 2021. There's a few writers. Thunder Levin uh, did a film called Zombie Tidal Wave in 2019. That sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah. Hank Woon Jr. did a film called It Came from the Desert from 2017. Uh, and Richard Lima is the other writer, but this is his only film to credit. The cast is Graham Greene, and he was in The Green Mile in 1999. Anthony Tretch Chris uh, was in Queen of Media 2011. And you've got something to tell us about Anthony Tretch Chris, haven't you? Yeah. Uh, I am Graham Greene. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> so Anthony Tretch Chris is, uh, yeah, yeah, Tretch is the lead, the, the lead kind of, vocal or the lead rapper and he formed uh the 80s uh rap group naughty by nature yeah so yeah <laughs> the hip-hop ray so yeah um yeah so that's where he's from and and graham green uh got a, got an oscar nomina- or nomination back then. you wouldn't guess that he's an oscar nominated actor from this movie he's terrible <laughs> uh but i'm gonna be honest he's terrible but uh he, he got an oscar nomination for from, for, for dance with walls Oh, so, okay. He's intense with balls. He's. A, I don't think he's an actor. I don't think he was a, a kind of. I think that was his first acting role. Oh, okay. Uh, they used. Uh, they used really, you know, Native American. Uh, uh, he looks indigenous. Uh, I'm guessing that's what he probably played in Dances with Wolves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. Uh, yeah, I was just looking up uh, more of a uh, uh, little Jar Jar because I, I I would just have stuff, but yeah. Uh, Oh yeah, no. He 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 directed a a a movie. With, oh yeah, sorry, uh, I forgot to ask. Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> he he uh, directed a movie with uh um what's uh, uh with with uh, called Buddy Hutchins. If you then look at the if you look at the uh, the cover, it's just Jamie Kennedy holding a giant chainsaw. The giant shaved what? It's just Jamie Kennedy holding a giant chainsaw. Oh, a giant chainsaw. <laughs> uh, and it says, his bad day is now your bad day. <laughs> uh, he also did a movie called uh, 
uh, the, uh, uh, <laughs> Bikini Spring Break, starring Robert Carradine from the the, the main dude from Revenge of the Nerds. <laughs> so yeah, he, he's had, but he mainly does asylum films. Um, he's done Legion of the Dead, Alien Abduction, Halloween Night. Uh, yeah, and a few others. Um, but yeah. You know, the, 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 this movie had to be reshot nine times. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't have that in my trivia. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. <laughs> uh, we've got also David Chuk Archie, uh, and he was in a film called The Last Call in the Doghouse from 2021. <laughs> 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 uh, Jackie Moore was in a movie called Sensory Perception in 2019. And Nicole Alexandra was in... Oh, sorry, Nicole Alexandra Shippy or Shipley, was in a movie called Sable in 2017. Brock Lesnar's wife. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's on Brock Lesnar's wife. Okay. Okay, now time for film chat. Film chat. We start off with a massive oil spill into the ocean from an oil rig, or or as because because I had the I had the the the, 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 the captains on sometimes because you know there's noise that goes around here sometimes so I have the captains on the the the, the, the I don't know the captions the 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 subtitles whatever you know they were littered with grammatical errors spelling mistakes <laughs> it was very funny to read so they spelled spill s p i l anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you can't see the way I spelt it. No, I spelt it sp- S-P-I-L-L. I was just... <laughs> uh, a small submarine getting unusual readings and gets spooked by something. Well, first of all, like, so, the, 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 so, you know, the, the, the beast comes up mm. and then this chick, this chick was, who's with us, dude, goes, oh, what do we do? Tell the press. They're downstairs. I'm like, why are the press there already? <laughs> At an ready? oil rig. Well, did, did, did the press already know something was going to happen? How, are they Nostradamus? Why are the press there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like I said, it's an oil rig, so they would have had to get there quite difficultly, you know, by boat and other forms of transport. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah for, for something that they didn't know was going to happen. Well, like, why were they... What unless, story were they covering? <laughs> unless if they've just got like 24-7 press, this, <laughs> these oil rigs are pretty... Oh, yeah, the, the, the parties never stops in an oil rig. <laughs> uh, a massive monster comes out of the water over the oil rig. Uh, this is the first time we get to see the monster, Richie. What do you think of yeah. the look of the monster? Um, yeah, uh, it was... Like, I mean, that's probably where most of the budget went. <laughs> um, but, but, yeah, it looked, it looked, it looked interesting. I'll go, I'll go, uh, yeah, <laughs> I've got to say we've seen worse monsters. We've seen worse monsters doing this like, podcast. Th- there's yeah, um, yeah, a, a lot of like get the yeah, the, they use a lot of uh, a lot of these movies like yeah, they, they, they use some budget with the monsters, but most of the you don't see the monster. You just see people's reaction to things because mm. they don't want to show it too much. So like, so you, you see like two seconds of the thing, and then you see, you see people go. <laughs> or let's or, see. Or, 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 or in the case of the dude from Dance of the Wolves, who I thought was just one reaction the whole time. <laughs> he literally didn't have any. He, I, I think a stormtrooper had more, but uh, had more emotional range than he had did in this whole movie. <laughs> oh, you're a harsh critic. <laughs> where's the like? Where's the lie? Where, where, where? <laughs> he was he, he was phoning it in, but uh, like even when he was being happy and funny, he was still grumpy, still grumpy. Yeah, you, you did a very good job. You did. You were, you were good. Yeah. <laughs> the naval base finds out they have lost another oil rig, uh, and it is also vanished. They decide on a deep sea dive, though they seem to think some seem to think this is actually quite dangerous. Uh, one of the main one of the main dudes that we get to meet. Uh, they decided on deep sea dive, but because there's a chick from NASA there. Why is a chick from NASA there? Because I think that she made the suits. 
Oh, okay. I was like, okay, your 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 space. There's not space anyway. <laughs> yeah. There's space in the water. Cool. Uh, sorry. <laughs> The main dude uh, who they want for this mission is mucking around in a parade with his girlfriend that gets into a random fight because some bloke called him a squid. A squid? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, he, he, he barely provokes him. Like, oh, you squid. So, you know, I'm, you know, but, you know he, he, if he got beaten up, he deserves to be beaten up. Like, well, why even? <laughs> well, he could He's have said, squid. he could have said, you tasty morsel. Like it was so like it was so like and it wasn't even in, in a, like a, a mean way. I just thought it, the way he said it, I just thought that, that was his nickname. <laughs> I hate squid. So but then he took it to fit. I'm like, okay, squid. How dare you call me squid? <laughs> Get your squid out of your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah. One of my favourite bits of the film is the dramatic walk that our team do. We've got a team of three. We've <laughs> got the main dude, the girlfriend, and we've got the dude from Naughty by Nature. And uh, not, not, not just a dramatic walk, a dramatic walk in wetsuits. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I, look, you, I don't care if you're the rock. You can't really do it. You can't look cool doing a dramatic walk in a wetsuit. <laughs> <laughs> what were they in wetsuits anyway? Because they're going to be, as we find out in a second, they're inside a giant robot. So they're not I getting wet know. anyway. I don't know. <laughs> I, I got a bit confused here because I thought at first they were all going to operate one massive looking robot. But then all of a sudden there were three robots and I went, oh, they each individually have their own robot. Um, yeah. And so, like, yeah, I thought it'd be like, uh, you know, or, or be like a, like, you know, in Power Rangers, right? But, you know, they, 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 they're initially they all, you know, they all operate their own robot, but then they, they kind of all more, that they, they kind of come to get, to come together and they, you know, they, they kind of morph into one. And then, oh. yeah. Like but one, just one massive, that. massive robot. Like, yeah, like they they attach to each other. Like you know, yeah, yeah, Lego. yeah. Basically. Yeah, it's like basically that. So yeah, it, this movie is very was very Power Rangers, and and even down to the fact that one was just called Red. And I was like, <laughs> oh, okay, he's Jason. Yeah, and, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. and funny enough, he had a red robot. Yeah, the robots go deep sea diving. One of the three which was Tracy's robot goes down, but they fix it before anything seriously happens. So <laughs> we don't, we don't, we don't know. We don't know how she fix it. It's like, Oh no, this, this is broken. Can we fix it? Fix. Yeah. Okay. And the other, the other issue I've got too is, is like, she can't <laughs> breathe because the robot stops or goes down. Everything goes down. But in about, 20 minutes later or 15 minutes later, they shut all the two robots down, but they don't lose their breathing then. So I don't really know. <laughs> uh, they get to the sea floor and they start looking for the oil rig, but all they'd find is just lots of wreckage. <clears throat> all right. My favorite, my favorite uh, bit of uh, changing a swear word around. I don't know if you notice this or not. Uh, but the good old bloke from Dances with Wolves, he uh, he said, instead of saying bullshit, he said bull butter. Bull butter. There you go. Oh, bull butter. Bull but I mean, that's good alliteration, I guess. Bull butter. That's a load of bull butter. Bull butter. So, yeah, yeah I, I enjoyed that bit. Bull butter. Mm-hmm. Tracy spots the monster and starts going after it, and the other two decide to go after it as well. The Navy tells them not to follow the monster. The Navy sends out all, all their ships out. The Red Robot and the monster fight while the Army personnel fire 
at it. This is where they're at the beach. Oh, by the other way, the other two robots, robots have been shut down. Uh, but they couldn't shut down Red's robot because he was already out of sight. <clears throat> the Air Force are on their way. One of the airmen shoots the monster down. And then Red is arrested for disobeying How's orders. Again? How's it going? Again? <laughs> <laughs> so there, yeah, and Red was arrested for disobeying orders. And yeah, and then Jim saves a little girl from a burning building. Not really sure yeah, yeah, why. Yeah, but, 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 but... These feel disconnected. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jim's are arrested for disobeying orders, and then for some we've got a burning building out of nowhere for some reason. Uh, and then so and then Jim saves it. Like, okay, just because we need something for him to do. Uh, and he and he goes and saves this little girl, and then he does love like the most like fake coughing ever. Like, <laughs> like, you know, it's like, like it's like the fake coughing you do when you're trying to get out of work. <laughs> Oh, oh no, I can't come. <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> he coughs like a rapper. <laughs> uh I think we're trying to establish that Jim is the good guy out of the is a good guy. Is the the, the, the the probably the goodest. Is that a word? Goodest? The goodest of the the the, the yeah, the goodest guy. Um because yeah. Because next thing we find out, even though Red's in uh, military prison, uh, and God, those prison rooms look pretty weird. Um, there is a yeah, there is a party being thrown for the three, uh, and Red goes. He's allowed out of his jail cell for the night, or well, it's not really a cell, jail room for the night. Tracy reluctantly goes, and Jim decides to go and help the Red Cross. With a clear up of the disaster area. There we go. There's Jim. Jim's the good guy. Jim's Red... a good guy. He won't party, but the other people will, you know, go and uh go go and party for a bit. Uh yeah. <laughs> and Red's Red's the, the arrogant sort of, you know, party broski. He's the broski. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, so they, there are two eggs the Navy knows of in the oil and sludge of the seabed. Uh, so this is where the movie picks up again with the whole monster thing. The Navy have vessels looking for them. A submarine comes flying out of the water and explodes onto into one of the other ships. Uh, and this was because one of the monster threw it. Uh, the monster attacks the Navy base. Jim and Tracy get Red out of his locked cell. Well, I said cell. That's a room. The Air Force shoot the monster down and destroy the other egg. <sighs> so that's all over now, Richie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not. There are rumblings. There are rumblings of another thing. And I swear that they, 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 I don't know. I don't, I don't get this from critics. I don't think he, you know, I don't. You know, I think they did this on purpose. I think it was just a, they stumbled into an, un, uh, uh, an unintended pun, where it's just like, oh, but, but we just, we destroyed the two two eggs. It's like, no, they're they're uh, you know the the rumblings on the uh, east coast, whatever. The, the, the rumblings on the other coast, Atlantic. It's like Atlantic coast. And he goes, scramble a team together, I'm like scramble <laughs> eggs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, that'd be nice. Wouldn't mind some scrambled eggs. That'd be nice, actually. Not monster scrambled eggs, just normal chook eggs will do. Normal chook eggs, yeah. There is a strange love triangle going on between the three Richie. A, what did you think three of three this? Rich. And B, did we need it? No, I, I just felt, I felt like it was just like, hey, the, it's a guy, two guys and a girl. They have to be romantic. They all have to be romantically linked somehow. We have to, the, the guy and a chick can't be just friends. No, they have to. Yeah, and, and it never went anywhere. <laughs> it no, was just and, like... then, <laughs> and then when yeah. Red found out, he didn't really care anyway. Well, it was like, oh, as long as it was just, you know, before. Oh, he goes, as long as, you know, you know, I, I've i hooked up with my brother. He said, I've got my brother's girlfriends before, as long as it was, uh, you know, all the time. As long as it was just before, right? And she was like, um, 
Yeah, and then like, but then they got a thing on that pager, like, oh, we gotta go, and then it was never brought up again. <laughs> well, I have some new tech, uh, so the movement can uh, can control the robot. So it's like you're in like a oh, what do you call those things that you wear the headsets for? Um, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, um, or even like a Wii remote, that sort of deal that you can oh, now control control the movement. With your own movement. Yeah. And the other thing is, the robots can now fly. Oh, no. Oh, man, the ability to fly. Robots can fly before cars. What technology? <laughs> technology. So they fly to New York to confront another monster. Uh, they now suddenly have weapons. They, they, some, you know, the, the woman was like burying the lead, like ages. She's going, oh, maybe do this stuff. Oh, hang on. If you press the button in the bottom right-hand corner there, you'll get these kick-ass weapons. So suddenly they had, like, axes and... The, <laughs> yeah. Like... Yeah, she's, she goes, oh, by the way, I, you know, I, I didn't get around to telling you. Oh, you got, you got weapons. Oh, yes. Okay, that would have been cool to tell. Yeah, it was just like, it's just convenient that you didn't t tell us until this point in time in the movie. <laughs> or at least 10 minutes ago when the fight started. Yeah. Um and they have to defeat the monster before the army uses a nuclear strike. So we've got a baddie in the story, and we know he's a baddie because he's wearing an eye patch. He's wearing an eye patch. <laughs> like it. You know, eye, eye, eye patches, uh, you know, we, well, we all know eye patches are just for bad people, not people with, like, you know, with, uh, you know, you know, with, with vision issues. Vision not issues people, or an no. eye complaint or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Or you got if you if you if you've got astigmatism, no, no, no. Or you've got like you know, or yeah, you, you know, if you've got you've got it temporarily, you know, because for the optometrist ordered you to wear it for temporarily. No, if you've got an eye patch, you're you are an evil bastard. <laughs> you're a villain, and yeah, this villain organizes the nuclear strike. Uh, Red stops the nuclear missile. Wasn't really too sure how he just goes up to it, waves his hands around, and. All right, yeah. you've disabled the miss nuclear missile. Did he? Yeah. And did he? Have? Okay. I mean, I don't know what the whole, the whole com the, the whole commotion is about. You know, fly dangerous about flying nukes. If that was that easy to get, you know, to 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 for that to be disabled. Okay. Cool. But then this even gets more batshit crazy. Red then takes the monster to out of space with the nuclear missile. Uh, and explodes it. So the monster explodes, the nuclear missile explodes, bang, bang, bang. Red's still up there. Red's there when the whole thing goes shebang. Um, and then what happens? Red plummets. Back. When I say plummets, he plummets back to Earth. Guess what? He's fine. He survives. He's well, He doesn't even have a scratch on him. So that, my friends, is Atlantic oh, no, no. Rim. Well, 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 actually, there's, there's one thing we meant, forgot. Like, so in when, when we find out that the guy, the eye patch, is a bad guy, he he, you know, they he he he's you know kind of a uh, holding it, you know, holding a gun. He's he's pointing a gun at the general, and uh, there's a bit of you know bit of a tussle there, and he shoots the general in the arm, and he goes, uh. And she's like, "Oh, we need to get you to hospital." She's like, "Oh, don't worry, it's just a flesh wound." And I'm thinking, <laughs> like, and he's like, he goes, "Ah," but then, then the next thing, he's just got a, he's just got a bandage on. He doesn't go out or anything. So it's like, "What the hell? You're not going out?" <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it just, it's like, it's like it didn't even hurt. I, I know being macho, but you'd still be going, "Ah, oh, Jesus!" Like, <laughs> it's like it, it hurt for a couple of seconds, and now he's fine. <laughs> but you'd be bleed, you know. Anyway. It's only a movie, Richie. It's only a movie. I know. It's a bad movie. Like even a bad, <laughs> even a, even, a, even an okay movie would explain. You know, be like, oh Jesus, yeah. yeah. Well, now we get to find out how good or bad this film was, and what's uh, scores and reports and thoughts. 
I mean, I, I mean, I probably had more to talk about than I thought I was going to. Um, like, yeah, and that was forever. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, it was, it was, it was silly, stupid, uh, n nonsensical. But asylum knows this. They just, they, they're just in it to make, you know, make dumb money. Um, make so, dumb, uh, dumb money. <laughs> dumb money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to manipulate. Old ladies into thinking they're <laughs> doing something, <laughs> into thinking that they're doing, you know, buying a, you know, present for their 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 their, 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 uh, their grandson. And uh, anyway, uh, I, I, as a as an overall movie, uh, one and a half. As over as a, as a two B movie. Um, two and a half. Yeah. <laughs> uh, excellent. I'll give it. I'll give it two as a movie. Chibi movie. I'm going to rank it a bit high because there was some. Um, it's so bad. It's good moments, and like we mentioned, some of those just woeful moments that you actually end up laughing at because they're so ridiculous. Uh, so I'll give it three and a half as a Tubi movie. Let's get quizzical. Quizzical. Our motor get quizzical. Quizzical. Let's get quizzical. Let me hear you. Quizzy talk. I don't know why I've got a coffee cup <laughs> in my hand. Oh, here you quizzy toe. If you're up for a quiz, put your cup up in the air. Yeah. I said, if you're ready for a quiz, put your cup up in the air. Yeah. Wave that cup like you just don't care. Yeah. I mean, what I, I kind of care, though. Oh. Oh. All right. Um, let's get quizzical. Today, we're going to do films from the great catalogue at Asylum. Is this an Asylum film, or is this... Hang, hang, hang on, sorry. I don't know what happened there yet. <laughs> sorry, just interrupted your flow. Keep going. Or is this a film that I made up? So, we do this every week in a similar style, so I don't really need to go through anything else, except... Please have fun. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry, I'll, I'll have fun. <laughs> which one of these two films, which one is an asylum film? Is it Scarecrow Slayer from 2003 or is it The Last Farm on the Right, 2003? <laughs> I'm going to say Last Farm on the Right from 2003. Incorrect. The correct one was Scarecrow Slayer from 2003. Okay. It's not parody anything? Uh, it could be. Like yeah, all those great Scarecrow movies. Maybe it's like a Buffy the Vampire Buffy, Slayer. Buffy. But, but, you know, they're slaying those Scarecrows that need to be slayed. You know, but, you know all, all those Scarecrows that are just standing out in the field minding their own business. Made of hay and crows. <laughs> oh, oh, by the way, uh, one 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 of the other funny uh, funny uh, 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 misspellings on uh, one of the uh, on on the subtitle on the on the captions, uh, crowd C R O W E D. Oh, crowded, crowd. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, the next two films are West Side Vampires from 2006 or Hillside Cannibals from 2006. I like the idea. Please tell me West Side Vampires means that they're, they're gangster vampires. West Side, West Side. West Side, the best. Don't eat that, the best. I'm going to West Side Vampires. That's a good pick, but it's wrong because Hillside oh, man, Cannibals. You're, getting me. you're is getting me. No. 2006 Hillside Cannibals. Okay. I'd watch both Scarecrow Slayer and Hillside Cannibals so far. So. Yeah. Okay, I actually meant to check with you with this one that uh, I can't get cancelled for saying one of these things. 
Look, I don't care. <laughs> you know, it's fine. All right. <laughs> the films are Nazis at the Center of the Earth, 2012, or Hitler Invades Mars, 2012. Uh, Hitler Invades Mars. Is incorrect. Oh, no. <laughs> this is not. Oh, no. The correct one was Nazis at the Center of the Earth, 2012. Is that like Journey to the Center of the Earth? Probably. It's probably a, a, a mock you, mock buster on uh, Journey to the Center of the Earth, but this time with Nazis. By J Jews Fern. <laughs> Holy shit. You're cancelled this time. <laughs> That's a good joke, though. Come on. Jews Fern. All righty. <laughs> <laughs> It was a good chat. Human Yeah. Um, are you ready for the next one? <laughs> a Snow Globe Christmas from 2013 or Jocks and Socks for Christmas 2013? Snow Globe Christmas because I don't know what Jocks and Socks are. You don't know what Jocks and Socks are? No, no, they, 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 they won't. Uh, Asylum won't know oh, what they Jocks won't. are. Is that an Australian thing, is it? Yeah. Oh. Um, you're correct. A Snow Globe Christmas from 2013 is correct. Okay. Jack Smokes the Green Stalk from 2013. <laughs> or, yep. or Jack the Giant Killer from 2013. Jack the Giant Killer is correct. Jack, Jack the Giant Jack smokes a, Jack smokes a green stalk is pretty good. Oh yeah, uh, that's good. All right, our next one is Lost at Sea, twenty fourteen, or Bermuda, Bermuda Tentacles, twenty fourteen. Say Bermuda Tentacles. That is correct. It is oh, Bermuda Tentacles, twenty fourteen. You you've made a comeback. <laughs> Alrighty, Little Dread Rotting Hood from 2016 or Three Starving Savage Pigs from 2016? I'm going to say Little Dread Rotting Hood. Little Dead Rotting Hood? Little Dead Rotting Hood, yeah. Is correct. Little Dead Rotting Hood from 2016 is correct. Uh, got no idea what that would be a mockbuster on. Yeah, yeah it's, I don't know. Maybe my uh, Goldilocks, maybe. <laughs> okay. The last Sharknado, It's About Time, 2018, or Sharknado ate everything, as in the number eight. Sharknado, Sharknado? Sharknado ate everything, 2018. I think Sharknado ate everything, because I mean, I think maybe you got It's About Time from the fourth crash movie, the fourth crash game. Well, you're correct about the crash game, but you're not correct about uh, the movie because the last Sharknado movie is It's About Time, 2018. Okay. okay. My Nightmare Landlord from 2020 or The Happy Tenant from 2020? My Nightmare Landlord. The Happy Tenant is unboring. <laughs> <laughs> correct. My Nightmare Landlord from 2020 is correct. And the final one, Richie. Frighten a Triton. What do you say? I said Frighten a Titan. A oh, Frighten a Titan. Okay. Frighten Fright a Titan. Frighten a Titan 2022 or Attack on Titan 2022? Well, Attack on Titan, I mean, is a thing. It's a TV, as an anime movie uh but I, I feel like you might have gone right i'll go frightened titan is incorrect attack on titan from 2022 is the film before they did the um what was the meth meth uh meth crocodile meth, no, meth uh alligator movie yeah okay. attack on titan was the movie they did before that okay all right, the floor is yours. 
Oh man, I've always wanted the floor. Oh man, that's cool. I, 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 I've looked at the floor once and I was like, I, if only Robert would let me have it. I don't want to <laughs> steal it. I, it'd be rude, but I don't want to ask because that'd be rude. I just wait for him to heart in and I said, I'm glad. Thank you. Anyway, I'll stop being an idiot. Uh, the, <laughs> the floor is now officially yours. You can take yeah, it home, yeah. you can wrap it up, and you can wear it as a hat. Cool. But then would it be a floor? But it's not on the, you know, it's up on, yeah, it's above. It'd be a floor hat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we've got action. We've, we've got comedy. We've got drama. We've got sci-fi slash fantasy. For those who have a slash fantasy, do that joke every time. Kind of keep doing it. Thriller. Western. Suggestions from website Cancer Blue 2. Not, not to be confused with Blue Chew. Blue Chew. <laughs> uh, and streamers picks. <laughs> so, here we go. Are you ready, oh. Richie? Yes, I am, Richie. Let's let's go. All right. One, two, uh, three, go, Richie. Oh, it's spinny, 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 spinny. 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 Sp c comedy. Comedy. Might get fart the movie. Oh, mate. That will make my day mm. and my bowels. So, I mean, more, more specifically, but F-A-R-T, the movie, so it's like stands or something. Uh, not sure. And, and then we got, yeah, from 191, and then we got Dead Sexy from 2018. You're dead sexy. I am. Oh, and you, you're all right as well, I guess. Thanks. Uh, yeah, that's right. Appreciate it. Uh, all right. I've never, I, I, don't, I never thought I'd say this, but come on, fart. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Spitty. Come on, fart, come on, fart, 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 It's going to be fart. dead sexy. It's going to be dead sexy, but next, yeah, all right. From 2018. Right. Let's see if it's there. I'll have a look. Deep. Mm -hmm. I always put Death Sexy. That'd be weird. That'd be a different movie. We say Death Sexy. Death Sexy. It's a different website. Uh, <laughs> it's there. Excellent. Three women move into a haunted house where, oh. a, naughty, where a naughty ghost gives them everything they could ever desire in a romantic partner and more. <laughs> <laughs> Directed by Brian Newell and starring Alexandra Corrin Johnston. Jackie isn't, isn't is, she married to uh on oh no, a different person, doesn't matter? <laughs> Jackie Venn and Greta Garland. Well, that sounds like a fairly interesting movie to watch. <laughs> yes. There's nothing like having a naughty ghost around. Yeah. We saw a naughty ghost in uh that um what was that movie called that we watched? Blood Out Pass at the House of Death. There you go. <laughs> I typed in I, for some reason I had a massacre in my head. I typed in Kenny. I typed in Kenny Everett Massacre, and there was a thing called Everett Massacre. There was a thing called. I'm like, oh, okay, that's an actual thing. Jesus, all oh, right, <laughs> I'm gonna look up that. That's not cool. Uh, anyway, uh, plugs and stuff. What a, what a what a seamless transition. Yes, plugs and stuff, mate. Okay, uh, yeah, if you want to, uh, you know, if you want to find us, find us on Facebook, uh, tell them they are streaming, T-E-L-T-E-L-L-E-M, uh, -E -L -L -E I mean, space, E-M, and the, uh, those other words, um, and then, <laughs> I don't even know why, I, I tried to, I was in the middle of spelling it out, I'm like, why are we doing this, anyway, <laughs> uh, and then, there, yeah, give us a like, uh, you know, uh, Tell us uh, what you want to see, and we can put it on the wheel. Be nice about it. You're like, oh, no, put um, put bloody uh, I don't know, put put uh, Solomon do the note part of three on there. You fuck it. I'll be like, no, it'd be be nice. Say, please, fuck <laughs> it. Um, 
and I'll be like, okay. Um, and, and then, um, yeah, uh, uh, then, yeah, you could uh, also on uh, YouTube where we upload this, like we upload every Tuesday, like, you know, it's like Tuesday, but Tuesday, okay, I'm, I'm clever, clever. You are, uh, you're clever. Where you can see us and you can sometimes see my full head. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Look, look, look at my afro. Look, that is like, that is disgusting. Oh, I do wash my hair sometimes. Look at that. Um, and, uh, yeah, looks... you can. No, I'm just going to say it looks lovely. No, 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 okay, yeah, I, uh, I'm sure that was what you were going to say. Uh, yeah, I, um, <laughs> yeah, and you can, uh, yeah, you know, you know, and then you can, uh, yeah, hit subscribe, hit to the bell notification for, to get notified when we drop a new episode. Ding, um, ding. Ding, ding. Ding, buddy, ding. Uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, we also have a Gmail again, email again, uh, tell them they're streaming at gmail.com. Again, email us if you, you know, uh, you know, if you want, uh, you know, what, you, what movie you want to see. Again, maybe make it to be related. Don't be like, yeah, I want to see bloody uh, Fast and the Furious. Like, cool. No, no, no. I mean, I, yeah, no. Uh, if, it's an, if, you've got an, if there's an asylum equivalent, yeah, then we'll have uh, the original Fast and the Furious on there. Slow in the, in the um, in the kind of uh, the slow and the apathetic. I'll be like, oh cool. I'll uh, <laughs> I might what I might go. Hmm, we need to watch this movie. Uh, um, but yeah, um, uh, yeah. But in terms of like just me, um, if I'm in tournament fights, um, on the Movie Hero Network. Uh, you can find me on Tier Rank of the Sister Show and Movie Hero Network. You can find me on Lonely Marks Wrestling Podcast, with the one I do with Austin Pierce Howe, Jordan Pierce Owens, and Jacob Barber on the Movie Hero Network. Uh, and you can uh, find me doing wrestling trivia and movie trivia on Jordan Pierce Owens' channel. You can find me doing wrestling trivia on uh, Combat Wrestling Trivia on Chris Cass's Twitch channel. And as far as comedy goes, you yeah, am back at it. Um, yeah, uh, you can just find whatever I'm at, at um, on um, on uh, on Richard Goodacre, my like page. So, yeah, I'm around, and yeah. And yeah, all good stuff. It's now time for Richie. What's on your shirt? And can no. you do an impression of whatever's on your shirt? I mean, whether I can or not, you're going to make me do it anyway. So let's just do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't force you to do it. It's... I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm just going to say, well, this is part of the thing. So, um, <laughs> look, I know Rhea Ripley is Australian, so you've got you've got the accent right. Can you do her voice though? Oh, oh yeah, I'm I'm Rhea bloody Ripley. <laughs> uh, not like, oh, uh, you know, shout out to my Dom Dom and uh, buddy, uh, yeah. Until next time, you drongos. Uh, <laughs> to be bloody continued. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Toilet time. Julian, what are you? <laughs>
What is that? It's very, very large. Red! That thing just touched down south of New York. Broken in time. He is a reckless liability. But he's the best we've got. Come on! Get the hell out of here. of town. Anything with more than two legs killed on sight. All right, party time. What? The smartest things? I didn't know they made them that big. 